So a while back, I had a video showing my uh, VR inventory system. I'm making a game here that's a uh, it's, it's it's like an adventure game, and so I need an inventory. And the player has a body, so you'll see when you look down, he goes ahead and opens up his bag, um, and I'm. This is an animation I made, and I'm working on it to make it better, but it's it's pretty bad for now, but it works. But what he's supposed to be doing is uh, grabbing this bag and then opening it up. So when you look down, he opens up his bag, and then you can see um, this UI opens up, and this is the inventory, and all these buttons that I had put on the canvas are just to represent uh, basically inventory items. So that is what the... Uh, inventory system looked like last time I showed it. Now here's the update, uh, and this one doesn't have the body in it uh, because that would require VR body. But the inventory system, we have health and mana. This is just in coins. That's just a temporary UI to show how many we have and. When you look down, the inventory spawn shows, but right now I have um, nothing in my inventory at all. So I'm going to pick some items up now. All of the items on the table you can pick up. And I can pick up the sword. I can pick up some coins down here. And now if I look at my inventory, I can see that, all right, I've, I've picked up four coins. And you can see the coins show you how many you have because it's a stackable item. Um, so the coins can stack to infinity as many as you can get. Um, sword, of course, is not a stackable item. But let's go look at some of these other ones. These are health potions. Health potions um, collect in stacks of five. So I can pick up two, three, and you see I have three health potions, and four, five, that should be five. But they're only stacks of five, so now I should have a stack of five and a stack of four. And the mana potions, they've been set to collect into stacks of one, because these are all options that are in the inventory system. So collecting mana potions like this, I should have a whole bunch of mana potions, because they... They don't stack, or they, they're, they're in stacks of one, I guess. So, And you can see now I have these arrows, which goes back and forth between all the items in the inventory. So I can come over here and uh, get the key. Now the key lets me open the door over there. Right now the door's locked. I can't, I can't go through the door. Clicking on it does, doesn't work. And here's something else you can do, because sometimes, let's say this is, a, this is one 3D model down here but there's five coins or four coins in that item so you can also set how many of the item you pick up so here I pick up and my coins go up by four or five for that uh, by five so now I've picked up everything that's in the demo scene and you can see I have 14 coins nine health potions a bunch of mana potions a sword I hope I used the mana potion. And then I got the key. Um, so I'm going to use some mana potions. That's actually making them decrease. I can't see it though until there it goes. So you can see how I use mana potions. And then same thing for the health potions. It's not perfect yet. We need to make sure it, it's, uh, it, it updates the item properly. Um, and then there's your coins. Now, the sword is an equipable item, so when I click on that, it is equipped into my inventory, into my hand. Um, so, there's no, there's no attack, but you can put that into your hand. And then, the key also can go into your hand, it's an equipable item. And so, if I equip the key, then I can go ahead and open up the door. Alright, I got the key and the door opens up. So this is the mobile VR inventory pack and uh, I'm gonna release it on the asset store pretty soon. 
it's just a lot of work. And as you can see, um, the, if you look at the VR inventory script here, there's a really nice custom inspector. Um, you can see what's in my inventory right now and how much uh, the quantity. Um, you could add new items. There's events that happen when you select an item, when you pick items up. And when you look at the database, um, so I'm going to go into the uh, demo database, which is this example item database. You'll see that the, this is where you can configure all of your items. So this is the coin and uh, the stack size is negative one. So that's infinity, but um, this isn't a tutorial, so I'm not going to go over everything, but you can set the stacking uh, options, the audio options, um, the miscellaneous options like max pickup distance, how far or close you have to be to get that item. So then here's the health potion and the mana potion and the sword. And of course you can see the sword is equipable. Um, just like the key, the, the key is equipable. So pretty complicated pack, the most complicated asset I've ever built. That's for sure. Um, and it would have been easier, of course, just to build it for my own project and have something that's not reusable, but I think it's better to build it into a pack so that I can release it on the asset store and you guys can benefit from it as well. Um, so that everybody doesn't have to go build a crazy inventory system. The other thing, of course, is I can reuse this in all of my games. So as I build more packs like this, I'm getting faster and better at making games and the whole process becomes easier. So that's going to be coming soon. Stay tuned for that. And I'm excited for it because I'm, I want to finish up this game sometime. I just keep, uh, making assets as I make this game because I wanted a really nice body for this game and then I made VR body out of that so that's on the asset store now and of course the movement and then you know we I made the VR movement pack um, so and then interaction the VR interaction pack I need to be able to interact with items like this book and I need to interact with items like uh, to pick up the sword and then the next thing right after that, of course, is the inventory and uh, being able to access all of my items from the game right here and use it, whether it's a sword or a potion or a key. Um, I need a nice system for that so I can finish making this game and uh, see, see what happens after that. Maybe after this one, I'll make a Steam game. I don't know, but I have a lot of fun making VR games, and I hope you do too. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and stay tuned. I'm going to really finish this up as soon as I can. It's just, as you can see, like I said, it's very complicated. So it's more work than I expected, but I'm working hard. See you guys in the next video.